Hi friends, I'm Katie and this is Catherine the 19th. On this week's episode of Creator Club, which yes, changed the name of my series, but I hope you like it. Welcome, welcome to the Creator Club. In this series, I am teaching beginner YouTubers how to make awesome videos from a technical and creative perspective. So welcome, this week we're gonna talk about intro sequences. You might have noticed mine at the beginning of this video. Intro sequences are a great way to introduce your YouTube channel and who you are to your viewer. So I think there are about three really important reasons why having an intro sequence can really improve your YouTube videos. For one, it creates brand recognition. You want your viewers to start recognizing your channel for your particular thing, whether that be a topic that you cover or your personality, and you can communicate that through the visuals that you use in your intro sequence. It can help make your videos more memorable and maybe even convince somebody to subscribe. The second great reason why intro sequences are great for YouTube videos is that it allows you to use a hook at the beginning of your video to get people interested and to bring them in to the rest of the video. So what is a hook? Well, it's when you use the most interesting bit of your video at the very beginning to get people interested. And the benefit of using an intro sequence and a hook is that the hook doesn't necessarily have to be narratively at the beginning of the video. It can be from somewhere in the middle that is just the most interesting or exciting part. Then after the intro sequence, you can start your narrative of the video from the beginning. A classic example of this is Casey Neistat and his crazy flashy beginnings followed by his classic intro sequence and then the beginning of the video. The third reason why it's great to have an intro sequence is that it clearly sets the mood and the tone and the theme of your video before you even jump into the content. Just by watching an intro sequence, you can pretty easily tell what kind of video you're watching, whether that's a daily vlog, a tutorial video, a beauty video, whatever it might be, there's lots of visual and audio cues that you can put in an intro sequence that lets the viewer know right away what your video is gonna be about. So now that we know the benefits of having an intro sequence, I am gonna show you how to make three really simple versions in varying um, levels of difficulty. So I'm gonna show you two that you can do in Premiere Pro, one that's very simple, one that's a bit more moderate, and then finally, one that you can make in After Effects uh, that can match the brand of your channel and the theme of your video. So to start out, we're gonna make a really simple intro sequence in Premiere, and all it's gonna include is the name of your channel in whatever font you frequently use. If you haven't picked a font yet for your YouTube channel, this is the time. If you aren't really satisfied with the fonts that just come on your computer, which I would totally understand why, then you can find a ton of free fonts on dafont.com and also Google Fonts. A lot of these fonts are free for personal use and on Google you can find them free for commercial use as well. So pick whatever font you feel like expresses you and your channel and we're going to make it wipe across the screen and disappear again. I usually start off my videos by some sort of introduction as I'm sure you've noticed. So I usually like to break it off there and so then now what I'm going to do is basically just select all of my videos except for the very first clip and I'm going to zoom back in here and then drag this over to give myself at least five seconds of room um, to make an introduction. So now what I'm going to do for this very simple first example is just create a text layer. So I'm going to go over here to the new item button and click that and then click title. And then this little panel comes up, so for the most part, just keep everything the same. If you want to name this something different, um, then you can do that. So we're gonna call it channel title. Then this panel opens up. So this is gonna be the panel where you can edit all of your text. So there's lots of options here, but to start off, all you're gonna do is click the T button, the type tool, and then just drag it across this panel here, and then you can type in your channel name. And then you can adjust the size using this tool here. You can drag it, or you can type in a value. And then I'm going to select the font that I always use. So um, what I use is a font called Luna. And then what I'm going to do is go down to this panel and select the color changing tool. I'm just going to make it white. For some reason in Premiere, you might think it looks white, but the default is actually this kind of light gray. So I just like to change it to true white. And then I'm just going to select the text and then over here I can use this button to center it. Um, it'll center the box. So you have to shrink the box around your title if you want it to actually have um, a centering effect. 
So then once you have it how you like, you just click the red box here. It won't cancel it, it will save it. And then I'm gonna drag it into my timeline. So right now, this is what it looks like. Friends, I'm Katie and this is Catherine the 19th. So that's a little plain right now. So we're gonna add a video transition. So if you go over to your effects panel, which is usually on the left hand side here, you're gonna go to video transitions and then wipe and then um, put the wipe there. So then the text is just wiping across black. So now what I would do is select this blank space, right click and ripple delete. And then you can add music if you want. And then that is your intro sequence. The second kind of intro that I'm gonna show you how to do today is also in Premiere, but just a little bit more complex and shows a little bit more of your video's content in the intro. So this is again a really simple one. We're gonna use the text that you use for your channel title and we're going to make it appear over top of some video that also has a color matte overlay to give this effect. This kind of intro sequence is great because it shows a little peek ahead at what your video is going to be about and it also shows your channel title and even the title of your video if you want. Additionally, you can use colors associated with your brand or just your favorite colors. So this is how it's done. Well, for the next example, I'm gonna show you guys how I created the intro for my most recent weekly vlog. So this kind of intro is really great for a vlog where you're going to be showing a lot of different, um, sort of visually different clips, um, just because then it's a little bit more interesting. So this is how my video sort of starts out. So what I like to do is as I'm editing, I'll think of a couple clips that I think are the most interesting to add to the intro sequence, and then I will just start slotting them in. So in this week's vlog, I'm gonna grab this clip of me longboarding. So what I do here is once I have the clip selected in this area, I will drag just the video because I don't need the audio for the intro sequence. So I'll just drag it in here. So this is what it looks like. And then I think for the other clip I wanna include, it's probably the one of Emily with the smoke bomb. So I'm just gonna drag it into my source um, panel here. And then I'm just gonna drag that in. So this is a bit long, but. And because I want um, more than just two clips, I'm just gonna drag another clip in that I think is sort of relevant to the week's vlog. So what we have now is basically just this, a silent montage of random clips from this week's vlog. Now, to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add music, of course. So I'm just gonna grab the music clip that I'm using for the rest of the vlog. So next, what we're going to do is add a title. But before we do that, I'm going to add a color mat. So a color mat is basically just a layer that is one solid color. And to create that, you go to the new item button and you select color mat. So this can all stay the same. I'm just gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna select white because basically uh, the purpose of this is to just um, put a little bit of a um, screen over top so that the title is more readable. So I obviously don't want a solid white layer. So I'm just gonna select it. So as you can see, it goes from pink to white when you select it and then effect controls and then opacity. And then I'm just gonna set the opacity to about 40% and hit enter. And now, as you can see, you can easily see the video. There's just a little bit of a white tinge to it. So this is what we have so far. Awesome, so that's pretty cool. To finish off, I'm just gonna add my channel title. So we're gonna go to new item again, select title. And then I'm going to use the text tool. This time I just hit the T key on my keyboard, which brings up the text tool. And I'm gonna type in Catherine the 19th. So finally, I'm just gonna layer that on top of the color mat. And then to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna go back over to my video transitions. And then I'm gonna drag that effect over my channel title, giving us this final product. Okay. 
For the third and final intro sequence for your YouTube video that I'm gonna show you how to make today, we are gonna use Adobe After Effects. Now, I know After Effects can seem really intimidating at first, I thought so as well, but after just watching a few simple YouTube tutorials and understanding a couple key principles like um, keyframes and transforming effects, then it's actually not that hard to use. So in this example, I am gonna show you how I made the intro sequence that I'm currently using with my videos. All right, so for this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a simple reveal of your channel title that will look like this. So fortunately, this is a very simple animation to create. All it requires is three simple layers, and really we're only going to be playing with keyframes in the one. So to start off, um, we're going to create the channel title layer, which is pretty much the most obvious one. Um, all you have to do is select the text tool, kind of like we did in Premiere, and drag it across the screen, and then type in your channel name. Then um, what I'm gonna do is just use the align tool over here and I'm gonna align it centered horizontally and vertically. That's just where I wanna have it on the screen, but of course you can put your title wherever you want. So the next step is to create the little line that we're going to animate. And so I'm gonna do that by selecting the rectangle tool over here, making the fill white and the stroke zero. And then I'm just going to draw a really nice thin box that's about the same width as my title. So now what we're going to do is work on animating this line. We're going to use the keyframes in the transform panel here. The ones that we're going to focus on today are position and scale, which is basically the size of the object and where it appears in frame. To start out, I'm going to, first of all, make sure that my scale proportions are not constrained because I want this line to stretch rather than um, grow proportionate. So I'm going to start by creating a keyframe, which is this little stopwatch button here. And then while this keyframe is highlighted, I'm going to just shrink the length of this line until I hit 0%. So now it's totally invisible, which is how I want it to start. Now I'm just gonna skip ahead to about half a second. Now I'm going to just start dragging this until it gets to 100%. And as you can see, After Effects automatically created another keyframe for me, so I don't have to worry about doing that. All right, so let's just see what we've just done. So we'll start here. You press the space bar to preview it. Great, so our line has grown. Now, right after the line grows, I want it to start moving over the title. So I'm just gonna move another about a quarter second forward and I'm going to create a position keyframe. So from there, I'm gonna skip ahead another quarter second to the one second mark, and I'm going to start dragging the um, vertical position value down until it's below. So let's just review what we've done here. If we drag this back, we'll see we had our scale starting at zero, and now we've grown it to 100%. And then we had our position above the title and then we just moved it to below. So before we move on to the actual reveal part, I'm just going to show you a quick tip which is um, the easy ease function. So I'm just going to highlight all of my keyframes and right click, click keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Basically what this does is just make everything play a bit smoother so you can see the difference here. The next and final step is to create our um, reveal box. That's what I like to call it. So I'm just gonna skip to this point so I can see the entire line. And what I'm gonna do now is create another shape layer with the rectangle tool, similar to how I've created the line. This time I'm just gonna create um, a red box because it's gonna be invisible and I wanna be able to see what I'm doing for now. This makes it a bit easier. And now what's important is that the reveal box is below the line in terms of layers. And now what we're going to do is all in these settings here. If you don't see this, just click the toggle um, switches modes and that will bring you there. We have track mat and parent. So what you're going to do with the reveal box is select parent line one. Basically what this means is that the this layer is just going to do every function that this layer does. Finally, we're going to go to the track mat column and then for the title, we're going to select track mat 
alpha mat reveal box. So now you can see um, some stuff has changed. Basically, when we switch from no track mat to alpha mat reveal box, what's going to happen is now the program knows to only show the title Catherine the 19th when this box is over top of it. So this is what it's basically done. So the box is moving with the line as the line goes over the title, and the title knows that it's only supposed to be seen when the box is over top of it. So it's just that simple with a couple keyframe scale and position changes and um, some functions of the parent and the alpha mat. It's very simple to create a little reveal title like this one. Overall, what you need to remember with intro sequences is that your goal is to do two things, provide meaning to the viewer and be consistent. On the meaning side of things, this is where you're communicating the theme of your channel, your own personality, and what the video is going to be about. This is important because without this, the intro sequence is useless. There's no point in making an intro sequence that has nothing to do with what your channel is about and that's really long. People are going to get annoyed by that and they'll probably just click away before they even get into the content. Second of all, you need to be consistent because that's kind of the whole point of using the same font every time, using the same colors. It helps people to recognize your YouTube channel and remember you, which makes them more likely to subscribe in the future. So if you take anything away from this video, I hope that it's that you know that you are totally capable of making awesome intro sequences for your YouTube videos. They're not as hard as they look, which I hope I showed well in the tutorials. And that also it's important to provide meaning with your intro sequences and to be consistent with them for them to be really effective. If you try to make an intro sequence for your YouTube videos, make sure that you send me a link to it on Twitter because I'd love to check it out and see what you guys are creating. I hope this video was helpful for you and as always, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you have suggestions for future videos for the Creators Club. If you enjoyed this series and get value from it, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any YouTube tips and tricks in the future. Thanks so much for watching and happy creating.